So, Mr. Oettinger, what you say is that um, basically you differentiate between the opinion Donald Trump has and um, what the future administration is going to do. So you, you don't take him serious? I do. He is elected. But I'm sure he has to hear and to learn and to get information and background. So let's wait and see. I'm quite relaxed. The US have been and will be our most important partner globally. Is it exaggerated to say that the very existence of the EU is under threat for the first time in its history? Yes, I think so. We are in a dangerous situation. But um, I'm quite optimistic that at the end of the day, in all of these member states, democratic um, European people will be in the government. There, there, there are those who say, well, Günther Oettinger set a lot in motion, and I'm, to, I'm, I'm mentioning now just a few things. I'm thinking of the digital single market strategy, uh, uh, I'm thinking of the network neutrality topic, I'm thinking about the Industry 4.0, you did a lot on that, uh, and the European copyrights, uh, uh, of course, uh, which is important, uh, especially in, uh, in this realm here. But there are others who say, well, Günther Oettinger, he set a lot in motion, but he achieved very little. What do you answer? I did my best. <laughs> That's a good answer. Maybe it wasn't enough. That's a good Two years answer. are a short time, but we did a lot for to Europeanize digital policies together with the parliament and for digitize our industries. You can now speak freely, Mr. Oettinger. It's, you know, you're in between jobs. Um, you're no longer responsible for the digital society. So why don't you just tell us very openly, um, uh, is Google's claim to power a danger for the common good or not? I don't think so. Why? I think it surprises Google me. And Google's services are appreciated as a search machine, as a platform, whatever else. But what we need are clear rules and no discrimination and no monopoly.